Hey guys, another rough day at the office today. Gonna go over the manual install of Ultra Snow for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. The reason you would need this is if your Wi Fi doesn't work on your iPhone 3G or 3GS, or you try to install Ultra Snow through Cydia and you're getting errors. This will work for um, any iPhone 3G with the correct baseband. I'll go over that real quick. The modem firmware or baseband has to be one of these here. Um, obviously the iPhone 4 is not going to work for the 3G or 3GS, but for the 3G and 3GS it has to have one of these basebands or modem firmware. You can find that by going to settings, general, about, on your iPhone and scrolling down to the bottom it says modem firmware. I'll show you right here on this iPhone 3G, you can see the modem firmware is 615. And I'll have all this in the description. If you need help jailbreaking your device, it does need to be jailbroken. You can come to our website right here, I need jailbreak.com. We do a service, it's a, you have to pay for it. Um, if you need an unlocking service, we have I need unlock.com, it's right here, and that um, has tons of different options as far as what you're trying to unlock. It's not just iPhones, it can be anything. Uh, moving forward, so I have forecast open, so you can see I'm working with an iPhone 3G on 4.2.1 modem firmware baseband 615, so Ultra Snow will work. Uh, you can see here in the uh, top left corner that the Wi-Fi does work, but I'm just showing you a tutorial on how to install it manually. You will need iPhone Box, which I'll have links for, both Windows and Mac, and you'll need the file for your 3G or 3GS, the Ultra Snow file, to manually upload it. So I've gone ahead and used File Swap for that because it seemed really simple to download the file from them. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Open up my browser, pop it in, very simple, fast download or slow download, just go ahead and click slow, it's free, starts downloading, very small file, you want to pull that up, so I'm going to grab it from my other window here, and I'll put it right there, I'll make a new folder for it real quick, 3G Ultra Snow Files, and then you'll need to extract those files, so I'm going to extract them, and then you can delete the zip file if you want to. So now I have my Ultra Snow files. Now I'm going to need to install iFunbox. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my browser one more time. So there it is, downloading. I'm going to start installing it. I'll walk you through that also. English, OK. Next, I accept. Next, next, next. Install. Installing iFunbox. And I'm Funbox. Um, just go ahead and uncheck that. We want we want to run it. I Funbox will allow us to get into the root files of the phone, so we can install the Ultra Snow manually. Once you get here into I Funbox, you'll want to go into I Funbox Cl Classic. It's in the top left. Then once you're there, you want to go to Raw File System. See, it recognizes the iPhone 3G. Raw File System. Private. Double click. Bar root, media, Cydia, auto install. Then you want to grab your files and drag them both right in there. Then device safe removal, remove it, wait till it's gone. Once it's gone you can close iPhone box, we're done with that. Now what you want to do is turn off your iPhone 3G or 3GS, whichever files you installed for the right one, turn it off. Once it's off, turn it back on, turn it off a second time, and the second time when it turns back on, it should start searching for signal. If you have any other issues with signal at that point, you may have to reinstall the iPad baseband. And if you have an unlocked iPhone, factory unlocked iPhone, this is not for you. You want to look into our mobile unlocking services, or you want to check out my other video that fixes the iPad baseband so to get off the iPad baseband so that your factory unlock can take effect. Thanks, guys.